Now we will go on a virtual field trip to Venice, Italy. Notice in this first picture, there's high water in Venice. That is the problem that Venice has been dealing with for a number of years. Why does Venice have a problem with high water? There are several reasons. Subsidence, sea level rise, and high tides. We're also going to focus on how Venice is trying to solve their problem. That will come later in this virtual field trip. But first, let's look at some more pictures. The picture on the left shows a gondola, but also notice the house in the background. There's a door that's partly covered by water. What has happened? Well, that house has sunk and the water level is now in the lower levels of that house. The picture on the right is of St. Mark's Square, the major square in Venice. Where is Venice, Italy? Well, the red arrow in this map view shows where Venice is. It's at the head of the Adriatic Sea uh, in the northern part of Italy. In the next slide, we see a close-up that shows Venice as an island, actually a group of islands, um, separated from the Adriatic by barrier islands called the Lido, and the mainland is to the left. So you can see a large inlet there where seawater comes in and out of, because of tides, into the Venice Lagoon. And that is one of the reasons Venice has problems with high water, is high tides come in and cause uh, parts of the city to be flooded. Here are several close-up maps of Venice, showing that Venice is actually made up of a number of islands and lots of canals, obviously, as you can see right there. And in the next slide, you'll notice one of the pictures has very high water. The picture on the right is of Venice and the canals without high water. And then the lower picture is of a door within Venice, but notice the water damage along the bottom of the door. Now I'd like you to go to the website listed at the top of this slide. This website explains the problems that Venice is having with high water and what the solution is. You should particularly look at the simulations for the gates they are planning to build and have actually built um, to control the flooding through the inlets. After you're done with that, I would like you to answer the six questions that are at the bottom of this slide. And also think, how does Venice, or the situation in Venice, compare with the situation in New Orleans? How is it similar, and how is it different?